Thank you. I was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When I was about nine years old, we moved out to Waukesha. And I lived there on the Waukesha Brookfield line for a lot of years. And uh, when I was around nine, 10, 11, I considered myself a pretty lucky kid because I grew up at a time that I personally consider the absolute pinnacle of technology. <laughs> and in my opinion, it's all been downhill since then. You got your fancy internet, and you got your smartphones, and now you've got your artificial intelligence, which they say is gonna wipe out all humanity, and I'm like, is that really good technology? I don't think it is. Back in the day, I had a little device I took everywhere I went. It was commonly referred to as a transistor radio. Yeah. You pull up the antenna, you switch it on, dial up, magical music, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 365 days a year, no subscription price at all. <laughs> Magical music floating through the air just for the taking, and so I would listen to it all day and all night, all kinds of music, British rock, American rock, soft rock, 70s soul, all kinds of stuff coming out. And I remember you could dial in all kinds of music. I'd dial in country music at some times when they had real beautiful country music playing back then. Woo! I remember hearing Johnny Cash for the first time on that radio thinking, man, Johnny's pretty cool, man. He writes these prison songs about prison. He's tough, you know, he over drinks, he gets in fights, he gets arrested, and he sounded just like my dad's side of the family. And I, thought, <laughs> I can relate to him somehow. Someday when I grow up, I'm gonna write me a prison song just like Johnny Cash did. 2013, I finally accomplished my prison song task, and I wrote a song about a Guy goes to prison, he's probably not ever getting out except for one possibility. He's gonna escape it all in his mind and that's what he sets out to do. This song's called Fly Away. Smack 
to run.